Introduction We have already learnt about the main directions North, South, East and West. In this chapter, we shall learn about the sub-directions Northwest, Northeast, Southeast, Southwest. We will also come to know about the compass rows and the scale used on the map. Identifying Directions and Sub-Directions From the picture given above, we can identify the following directions. The clock tower is to the north. The house is to the south. The tree is to the west. The lake is to the east. The mountain is to the northwest. The well is to the southwest. Street lamp is to the southeast. Fort is to the northeast. We could easily guess north, south, east, and west. The directions that were difficult to guess were northwest, southwest, southeast, and northeast. Compass rows. We can study and identify the directions and sub-directions with the help of the compass rows. The main directions are north, south, east and west. The sub-directions are northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest. The sub-directions lie between every two adjacent main directions. The name of every sub-direction begins either with north or south. Directions are always parallel to the ground. That is why a map must always be aligned to the local directions. This makes it easier to understand the map and the region. Proportionate Nature of Maps Places in our surroundings are often located at some distance from one another. These places are also large in size. Maps are comparatively quite small. Therefore, the distance between these places has to be shown in a very limited space on the map. When we draw pictures of houses, mountains and people. We draw them to fit the size of the paper we are drawing on. It is the same while drawing maps. While drawing a map, the distance between two places on the ground has to be shown in such a way that it fits the paper. The distance on the map is proportionate to the distance on the ground. The scale used on the map is 1 cm equals 1 km. Directions and sub-directions have been determined by man on the basis of the rising and setting of the sun. Thus nature can be our guide. Make friends with maps. By using the compass rows, we can read the map given above. We can place the rows on bead and make a list of all the districts. Jalna lies to the north of bead. Ahmednagar lies to the west of bead. Osmanabad lies to the south of bead. Latur lies to the southeast of bead. Aurangabad lies to the northwest of Bede. Parbani lies to the northeast of Bede. If we place the compass rows on the center of Maharashtra state, the location of our Mumbai district is on the western coast of Maharashtra.